Last week's EU transmog competition was one of the most incredible and highly contested competitions that we've ever had. It was so difficult and so challenging that I thought the EU deserved one more chance to give their opportunity for the Alliance and to give a chance to see what they could use and what they could put together if they could go anywhere close to what EU was able to do on Horde last week. Spread out a little bit, guys. Archmage Drizzlelox from the Guild Performance. So this is a pretty basic transmog. Obviously, you've got the Ebon Shill. What are you doing? Okay, you've got the Ebon Shill. Okay, all right. You're going to show up the fucking weapon. I see how it is. So you've got the Ebon Shill, the uh, Mage Tower appearance, the chest piece there from Tier 9, the shoulders there from Blackrock Foundry, and then a few random pieces from Legion, like the gloves and the boots there. Nothing really too impressive or too amazing. This just seems like a basic Frost Mage transmog. This is a solid 5 out of 10. I completely agree with you guys. This is nothing to get excited over. This is nothing to get a big dick over. Hey man, love your streams. Keep it up. All right, well, let's see what your mount is. Okay. This is pretty much what I would expect. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This is probably the most bland and boring transmogs I've seen in a long time. I've seen a million of these before. Drizzle, come on, man. Like, let's see something a little bit different. Let's see something a little bit more unique. You're just gonna go and get on one of the same little discs like you've done before? Everybody's done this before. Everybody knows this. Like, you've just got a bunch of crystals on your shoulders. It's like you're a fucking Shungite vendor. We don't need to see that. This is nice, sure. But is it unique? No. Is it special? No. It's just something that we've seen a million times before and we don't need to see again. This is an NA spy if we've ever seen one ourselves, gentlemen. Let's go to the next one. Drizzle, nice try. Huntmaster Yen from the guild Goroninsky Republic. I kind of like this. This is pretty good. So she's using the Dragon Rider's Harness, which is an item that comes from Island Expeditions with some Warlords of Draenor leggings and boots there. I think this belt comes from Legion. And this weapon here, I believe, is actually the challenge mode appearance for uh, Beast Mastery Hunters back in Miss, uh, back in, uh, not Miss Mithara, back in Legion with the Mage Tower. I kind of like this. What do you guys think? I mean, this is fancy, it's fresh, it's new, it's exciting, I like it. What do you guys think? You like it? It's it's not amazing, right? Like, let's be honest, it's not amazing, but it's still pretty good. We've seen a lot of sets like this before, though. I actually think that her hairstyle actually makes this set way better. I don't know if it's just me, but that's kind of the way that I see it. Clean like my dick. Wait, what? All right, let me see your mount. No, just, just forget about that. She's going to get on that. Yeah. Listen. If I had a dollar for every time somebody was wearing a set like yours and they got on the Legion class order hall mount, I would probably have about $10. That's too many dollars. While your armor is unique, it's too vibrant in order for it to fit with a drab mount like the mount that you're using right here. It doesn't necessarily work very well. And while it does work thematically, that's the only way that it does work. It's generic and it's boring. It needs to be better. Guys, come on. We got to see some better sets. This is a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 7. But definitely a 6. This one's a little bit weird too. I don't like it, but it's definitely an improvement. Let's go to the next one. Fat Short Man. Okay, all right, so just my average viewer. Okay, let's see what we've got here. That's the tier 14 shoulders for shamans right there. That mace comes from, I think that comes from Blackrock Foundry. This shield comes from Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, actually, no, it comes from specifically Blood Queen Lanathel and 25-man heroic Naxxramas, or sorry, ICC. And then let's see what else he's got. He's got his TCG tabard as well with his uh, engineering goggles and those leggings right there. And also the boots come from Olduwar for shamans. Actually, I think that's for hunters. Yeah, never mind, it's for hunters. Okay. Why? Why have you chosen to get on the alpaca? Why have you chosen to activate the alpaca at this time? What about the alpaca makes you think that it's time to use it? Okay, that's a good argument. Sorry. Now, fat short man, is this one better? 
does it matter if it's better? Because you've already been judged on the alpaca. Fat, short man. This is a shitty, bad set. I don't like it. The set itself is interesting, but overall, I don't think that it's really that great. You've got to work harder. Riding the brown cock? That mount is worth more than a car. And your transmog is worth about six cents. Better luck next time. It could be a lot better. Let's go to the next one. Wow. This is cool. This actually is cool. I like this. Holy shit, this is fucking awesome. Okay, just give me one second. So that that uh, that face mask right there is one of the Monk Tier sets that came from Mr. Pandaria or maybe from Ward's Rin or I forgot which one. Those shoulders there also come from, and the boots there come from uh, Legion PvP for, I think, Rogues. And then the swords there, I really like these swords. So these swords are the Iron Horde Sabers that come from Blackhand on either Heroic or Normal Mode. I forgot which one. With the Dread Flame Enchant, which is a 2400 enchant that you could get from BFA. This is really really fucking nice and then the tabard look at the tabard that is one of the pvp tabards that came out and i believe season three i really like this a lot it could be season two though i could be wrong and that belt there comes from trial of valor this is a nice looking set and the reason that i like this is because the colors are completely fucking original there is nobody else that uses gold and purple in the same way i mean gold and purple you guys know me this is gonna be pretty hard for me to consider this is not a bad this is not a good set. I mean this is a this is a nice set, dude. This is a really nice set, dude. Show me the mount. I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like it sucks. If you want my honest opinion, I think that it sucks. I, I don't think this makes any sense in terms of a mount in the set. Like, I, I really don't. I think this is a dog shit ass mount. Like, this is a ruined set. Like, why did you get on the hippo? Why did you get on the beefy boy? Why does the beefy boy fit with your set? Of course it doesn't. Well, then why are you riding it? What are you doing? You said time to assert dominance. What are you dominating? The last place? To assert do uh, dominance over who? I'm above you? You're so dumb, man. Of course you're a gladiator. Anybody that's a gladiator at this point's got their fucking brain fried by BFA. You can't hold it against them, man. It's been a hard expansion for everybody. So listen, it's a it's a rough game. It's a rough time. You do your best, man. Fortin, thanks a lot for trying, man. Uh, I, uh, I guess you did a good job or something like that. Let me go to the next one, okay? Azurus the Insane from the Guild Yoga Pants. Okay. I actually really like this. This is some tribal set going on. So he's got obviously those shoulders right there, the tier 11 set for shamans. That helmet and the gloves there are the Argus set for shamans as well. The bow here, I think, comes from somewhere in Warlords of Draenor, but I'm not 100% sure about that. The belt comes from Throne of Thunder. The boots are from Oluar. This is really nice. Like, this is actually a really good fucking set. It's flashy, it's crazy, it's awesome, man. I like this a lot. Azurus? Azurus. Hit us with the mount. I want to see the best mount that I've ever seen in my whole life. Get on that mount. Let's go. Wow. Damn. Damn. Damn, that's actually really good. The Corrupted Felbor? Holy fuck, man. I love this. This is incredible. And the, the fact is, like, not only does it match the color theme, but it also matches the Pokey theme. So he's got little Pokey Boys coming up from his shoulders and his helmet, and then he has Pokey Boys coming up from his uh, mount as well. This is really, really fucking clean. Azurus, this is amazing. I fucking love it. What do you guys think? This is, I think, a solid fucking 9 out of 10 at least. This is a nice fucking set. This is a big dick set. Good job, Azarus. I'm proud of you. Very, very proud of you. Let's go to the next one. Good job. Farrag of the Deeps. This fucking sucks. 
This is one of the worst sets I've ever seen in my whole life. There we go. What the? What the fuck? Ah. Shout out to my Mythic Plus team having to play with a Rhett, but at least he's rank one Raider IO World Season 4. Can tell McCool to get an autograph for gold. Okay, yeah, I'll make sure to let him know that. I... I kind of like this. Like, I, I really do. Because, like, so so you're using, obviously, those older shoul Olduar shoulders for druids. But if you look at the Olduar shoulders and you put them in an aquatic transmog, there's no way to say that it's not just coral with pearls on it instead. That's what's so fucking queen about this, is he's completely changing the paradigm of what the shoulders are supposed to be, and he's making them something different. Now, these weapons right here. Now, these weapons, these are called the Clickety Clackers, and these are from, um, I don't know where they're from. I think they're from the boss, the boss in, uh, in Najdatar, but I could be wrong about that. Yeah, they're the Clickety Clackers. They're very, very useful, and um, obviously, you don't want to get them near your private parts. But regardless, the helmet is really, really nice, too. That helmet, I believe, is one of the elite helmets from PvP. Uh, no, oh, that's what the elite helmet from fucking, uh, what do you call it? From Ashara's Eternal Palace. This is really, really good. You know what mount it will be? Honestly? This works. The thing is, like, oh, the cloak. The cloak. Turn around. Turn. Oh, dude. Look at that cloak, dude. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, my God. Dude. That's a crabby cloak. That's a crabby mount. That's a crabby set. This is a nice fucking set, man. Varug, I'm proud of you. I think you've done an incredible job. This is a really, really nice looking transmog, and I'm impressed by the quality of skill that you have been able to show. He's crying because of it. Good job, Beric. Great job. You dipshits at the beginning have better be taking notes. Let's go to the next one. Wodukus, the Argent Champion from the Gills, House Arnett. This is fucking awesome. This is like the original Tyrion Forgering from Vanilla WoW. He's using the little helmet that you could get from the uh, uh, the bonnet that you were able to get from the Legion Invasion thing. Those shoulders right there from Furious Gladiator, as well as the gloves as well. I think those could actually be one of the Wrath of the Witch King PvP shoulders. It could actually be, I believe specifically, those are the Savage Gladiator shoulders. Am I right or wrong about this? <sighs> Ooh. Oh, dude. Dude, the boots suck. The boots do suck a little bit of a dick, right? But he's got the canteen right there for water. He's got the weapon right there that you get from the Broken Shore for Paladins if you buy the little special box. The leggings right there from the Garrison Bunker. This is, and also the Tabard. This is fucking amazing. I, I love this. What do you guys think? Like, he's also using this. The cloak is, it it's actually pretty good. I'd say the cloak is pretty good. I like it a lot. All right, get on the mount. Get on the old mount. Get on the old mount. This is great. Like, I, I honestly think this is like straight up fucking like, this is long dick paladin fantasy. There is nothing wrong about this. This is an Argent Charger that you're able to get from 100 coins back in the Argent Championship when it came out in like fucking patch 3.3. This is from a long time ago, man. I like it a lot. Yeah, if this is, if this, if you guys were celebrating No Note November, I think that some people might have already failed. These are three good sets in a row. Nice fucking job, Lord with us. This is amazing. I love the Paladin Transmog. This reminds me so much of original Tyrion Forgering. I think that you absolutely deserve some acknowledgement for how good this set is. Now let's go to the next one. Jerabel, Legend of Pandar. Oh. I'm a honeymead brewmaster. It's good for hair growth. Wow. Wow. 
brilliant absolutely fucking brilliant i i would have never expected that Listen, so obviously that weapon right there is bow wrist. It's one of the, uh, I think the, uh, the coloration on that weapon is actually specifically the heroic version of bow wrist. And it's one of the random drops from, uh, Throne of Thunder. It can drop from any of the bosses besides Raw Den. That belt right there, I believe, is this a, uh, I don't even know it. Is this a Dragon Soul belt? It's hard for me to say. And then the shoulders and the gloves there are also a monk set as well. I forgot which set it is. Let me go ahead and double check myself because I do forget to these things sometimes, even myself. Range Finder Spalders. Okay, you know what? I kind of like this. I'm not like super impressed by it, but I kind of like it. What do you guys think? The title? Jezebel Legend of Pandaria. Yeah, I see that. Within the guild, BRB, my cat's on fire. Yeah, I get that, man. Uh, and before B mount? I don't think it's going to be the B mount. Oh! Because she's a honey mead brewmaster. Like, I, I know you guys are like thinking, they're like, oh yeah, of course she's gonna get on the fucking B mount. Yeah, duh. Like, yeah, no fucking shit. Okay, so obviously you're gonna have to get points to this because it has some degree of originality in it. You've got a set that's completely different. You've never seen something really like this before. Nobody ever uses that weapon. And on top of that, they have a story that goes along with the set that's reinforced by the mount that they're riding. I think that's good. What do you guys think? And it's a female Void Elf set. Yeah, which is a pretty big positive right there in itself. Yeah, I, I think that's good. That's a solid 7, maybe an 8 even. Good job, Jezebel. Great work. Sportsmanship. I like it. Zombriel storms in from the guild Link Curve. Well, she's a Draenei female, so she already has. So the helmet and shoulders are obviously the tier two set for shamans. Uh, that chest piece right there, I think, is one of the... I don't even know where the fuck that chest piece comes from, actually. And then the leggings there come from the Trial of Valor. The belt's just the ice stick belt from the beginning of Legion. And then, let's see, what's the weapons here? This weapon is... This weapon is the heroic version of the axe that comes from the Dark Shaman, the twin Dark Shaman in Siege of Orgrimmar. And the shield, this shield drops from the first boss in Trial of the Crusader on 25, man. Okay. The boots, I do think, are kind of shitty. Overall, I think this is a relatively mediocre set. I think it's mediocre. Okay. Sportsmanship is nice, but you have to be a sportsman yourself. And today... You're dropping the ball. Boots are difficult on a drain eye. I know they are. But the fact is that how the fuck does the ice stick belt match with tier two? I'll tell you how. It doesn't. Let's see the mount. Maybe he can take it home with this mount, but I feel like this is not looking good for him right now. This is not looking good at all. Why is the crotch glowing? Uh, it's an STD. Honestly? That's really good. Like, all, all things considered, that is really, really good. Zombro, like, Stormscrub, this is actually nice. Like, what do you guys think? Like, this is, an, this is a genuinely good mount. Like, maybe I'm crazy or something like that, but whenever I see this, I like it. I think that it fits really well together, and it works really well. I like it a lot, man. What do you guys think? Thoughts? Mounts replaced it there. Uh, probably got the belt. Yeah, mount saved. Yeah, I think it's really good, man. It's ugly as fuck. No, I don't think so. I actually think the colors work really well, and I like it a lot. Zombriel, nice fucking job. This is much better than what I originally thought that you were going to come in here with, even though the transmog is a little bit mediocre. Let's go to the next one. The belt does kill it. I think the belt sucks too, and so do the boots. You've got a lot of work to do. Oh, wow. Prideful Gladiator in this. Holy shit. You've got the shoulders right there from Xavius. The helmet there from Cruel Gladiator Elite set for uh, PvP. The Tabard from what is this? This is one of the PvP Tabards. Which one is this? Tyrannical Gladiator's Tabard? Look at those daggers right there. Oh my god. Cataclysmic Gladiator Shib. 
with the boots and also the leggings there also from the elite set for season three and the chest piece from the elite set for season three in legion and then the gloves here where are these gloves from conquerors terraboy gauntlets i didn't even notice that those are the older war gloves that come from 25 men and then this belt right here i think is also from the uh, grievous gladiator isn't it prideful gladiator same model and that's actually the elite version because it's red this is incredible and then look at the cloak right here oh this is a tyrannical gladiator's cloak too prideful gladiators bro this guy's flexing dude like the the fucking eyes the eyes sell it man and then he's also using the enchant from Warlords of Draenor PvP. This guy is flexing about his PvP achievements in like three different ways. He's got the fucking Tabard. He's got the Elite set that came from a previous expansion. He's got the Cloak that also came from a previous expansion as well. All three from different seasons. And he's wearing a... And he's wearing a rank one, a rank one title. That is impressive. That is really fucking impressive. If this... Let's see them out. Let's see them out. Wow. Wow. This is really, really good. This is the honor level 250 mount. This is exactly what I'm. I, I like to see. Whenever we're talking about fucking edgy transmog, okay? This is like red and black. This is big dick red and black, okay? Most of the time, whenever people go with a transmog that's red and black, it's, I'm a little edgy boy. <laughs> this is some actual real big dick shit. I love it. This is really, really good, man. You guys like it as well? I do. This is great. And I'll see what his current rating is right now. Let me see. Inspecting. PvP. 2600. That's pretty fucking good. Nice job, man. Good work. This is a badass set. It actually looks ferocious, and I think the eyes are what makes it really, really good. Battle Lord Fun Knight from the guild Morally Fuchsia. So let's see what we've got going on here. Those shoulders right there are the Swift Steel Pauldrons that come from Blacksmithing and Black, uh, in Black Temple. That belt right there is from, uh, let's see, that's from Emerald Nightmare for Paladins, and so is the Chess Piece. Those are both the mythic version of the Paladin set. And then that tabard there is the, uh, let's see, that's the fucking, what, what is that one? That's the Stormpike Taggard from uh, from Rathi, ba Rathi, fuck, God damn it! It's from Alterac Valley. I got too many things in my head, man. Like, it's weird. I got too many things in my fucking head. And the shoulders there, uh, yeah, I already said shoulders. The gloves there are from uh, the, they're from Nighthold. And then the weapon, of course, is uh, the Untamed Blade from Razor Gore and BWL. I get too many things in my head. I get confused. And then, of course, the helmet right there is from Black Temple. Now, this set, I'm going to be honest with you. This guy stole my set. I don't like it. I, I really don't like to see things like this. Like, if people steal my sets... Look at this. Give me one second, I'm gonna pull this up. What did you think about the set, Asmon? I thought it was great when I wore it. I thought it was really great. It was an incredible set. Listen. Your set is a downgrade from my version. Damn, I've not seen that video? Yeah, nobody did. It only got 60,000 views. Uh, basically fucking irrelevant. Listen. I understand what you're trying to do. I understand what you're trying to work with. But unless you have a really good mount, you're not going to have a good time here. Let's go. I have no mount. Good. Because let me tell you something. With that weapon, you have no chance of winning either. You gotta try a better job. Annie would be disappointed. Better luck next time.
Hey, Asmund, it's my second time being here. Did the game mods line the camera hoarder ring a bell? Slightly, yes it does. I, I like this. I, I actually like this a lot. Okay, so you've got the World World Defiler's helmet, the World Defiler's uh, chest piece as well, with the 25-man uh, heroic DK set from Wrath of the Witch King ICC, with the shoulders, the gloves, the boots, and also the belt, and then these leggings. What are these leggings? Dude, the, okay, this is so good. This is so good, because the chest piece here, he's wearing a shirt underneath the chest piece that actually makes the shoulders and the shirt match together. This is so fucking clean. I love this helmet, and I love it whenever people use the helmet. This weapon right here is also a Polyon the Soul Render that comes from Kel'Thuzad. Sorry, Kill Jaden. It comes from Kill Jaden and Sunwell Plateau. This is really fucking nice, man. This is really, really fucking nice. What do you guys think? It's a Brutal Gladiator Sword? I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's a Polyon. Yeah, it's a Polyon. Nice try next time. I think this is good. I really, really like the colors on this. I know a lot of you guys are being shitty about this. You guys are saying that it's bad. I can understand why you say that, but I just want you to understand that you're wrong about that opinion and that it actually is really good. Sim? Let's see the mount. That's really good. That's actually really good. Wow. Uh... This is great. Like, all of the colors are reinforced throughout the mount. It matches in terms of color theme and also in terms of theme in general. This is fucking amazing. I, I, I love this, man. This is... Ac he straight up saved his set with this set. Or, with sorry, with this mount. This is awesome. Like... This took a set from being... You have to understand, chat hates almost everything, unless it's a female character. This takes your set from being, let's say, like maybe a, a, like a, a 7 to being like an 8.5 or a 9, I think. I really like this a lot. I know some people might disagree with that, but I think this is a really, really well put together set. This is fucking amazing, man. Chat's coomers. Yeah, I know they're coomers. Let's go to the next one. This is really good. Great job, man. I don't even know how to say your name. Sim Rentadin? Good job. Aegis, Warlord of Drain. Warlord of Draenor. I'm gonna guild Morally Fuchsia as well. Look at them, they've all, this is their whole guild right here. I kinda like this. Yeah, I, I actually kinda like this, man. This is good. Um, let's see. So you've obviously got Tusk of Manroth right there. That's just a chest piece. It's a uh, shirt that he's wearing. He's not even wearing an actual chest piece. The belt right there comes from Warlords of Draenor PvP. Those leggings there are the Cataclysmic Gladiator's leggings for warriors. And then those boots there, I think, come from Warlords of Draenor. The shield is the challenge appearance shield. And then also the axe. What is this axe? Take out the weapons. Dude, the axe is... This is such, this is such a big dick play for him to make. So the shield obviously comes with the flail and he chose not to use the shield with the flail, but to instead use a completely different weapon that admittedly, I don't even know where it comes from. I don't even know what this is. What even is this? Plundered black tooth face. What the fuck is that? I don't even know if I have that. Th that is an incredible play right there. I really like this a lot. And overall, I think this is a pretty good looking transmog. What do you guys think? It's from Islands? Yeah, I can see that. Because it's anything that says plundered is obviously from Islands. Every single thing is from plundered. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think this is a solid like 8 or a 9. Yeah, I like it a lot. Good work. Aegis? If you get on a mount that's big dick enough you could actually be placing in the finals here. No pressure, but there's a lot of pressure. Now, I want you to understand something, Aegis. This is the mount that I've used many times with this set. 
And the fact that the reason of why I did that is because Warlord's Draenor had not released by then. There are plenty of other primal options with wolves that have spikes on them and little horns on them for you to have to ride this busted ass, nasty, worn down piece of shit that looks like the top of it got colored on by crayons. We don't need to see this mount anymore, man. Leave it back in 2013 where it fucking deserves. This is a dog shit ass mount. It doesn't work. It didn't work that well back then, but you had to make do. Now we don't have to make do anymore. We have better choices, and you didn't choose them. Good try, but not good enough. He was so close. He was very close. But unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. Rain Scrack from the guild Bajarn Fintar. Trying to make my demon hunter transmog that isn't about to fall from the edge but still screams demon hunter and create the theme of an early age demon hunter. I like this. Like straight up, I actually really like this a lot. What do you guys think? Uh, I feel like this is fucking badass. It, it, it fits so well together, everything about this is awesome. Like what do you guys think? This is fucking great. So these weapons right here, which ones are these? These are the ones that used to cut these are the war waves that came out in patch 8.2 with the the kilt here. This is the isn't this the wild heart kilt that came from the tier zero? Replica wild heart kilt. Holy shit. Illidari Blind Wow. I really like this a lot. This is a completely different take on Demon Hunters that we've never really seen people use before. And whenever I see people that go and they use something that's completely different, that impresses me. I've never seen somebody do this take on Demon Hunters before. This is really, really good. The belt doesn't match. It does if you're talking about like an early age Demon Hunter. I think that it works very well. Let's see the mount. Hit us with the mount. You don't fail us. This is Evor, the fierce chimera, only tameable by those who are chosen by the spirit of Ashenvale. Bro, like, this actually works. What the fuck? Like, it, it works because, like, our hair is purple as well. Like, this is, like, because the, these old mounts, I could see this actually being, like, a night elf demon hunter mount. Because it has, like, the nature element to it, but it's also fierce because it's got two fucking heads. I like it. Like, I, I actually really like this a lot. What do you guys think? It's a Chimera, yeah. I liked it better without the mount. I actually like the mount a lot. I think the mount works really well because it's completely unique. And, and like, you guys have to understand, this is not like an Illidan fucking training the Illidari during Legion Demon Hunter. This is like an early Demon Hunter at the very beginning of, like, the fucking first stage of the game. This is what a Demon Hunter would look like. And based off of that, I think it's fucking amazing. Like, straight up, I think this is really fucking nice, man. Good work. Great work. It's an interesting theme, and I like it a lot. Titan Slayer Yasaraj. I'm the strongest of the old ones in human life form. You thought the Titans had defeated me. You thought they destroyed my heart in Pandaria. Fools, we are the ones who heralded the coming of the one true king. I will have my vengeance on the Titans. Well, of course I didn't think they got rid of you. What if they need to use you for a new patch two months from now, or two years from now? Think about that. The helmet right here is the tier 11 helmet for, I think, priests. The shoulders there are just the basic shoulders you're able to get in dungeons and BFA. The tabard is the Nightfallen tabard. That weapon right there is the, uh, it's, I think that weapon comes from Gorefiend and Hellfire Citadel. It might be the heroic version, I believe. I kind of like this. So, it's like an un... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, what do you guys think? Another purple one? Yeah, it is a little bit purple, but I think that's okay. What's wrong with purple, boys? What are you trying to say? What are y'all trying to say about purple? Purple's fucking amazing. You guys trying to say purple sucks? Regardless, I like this a lot. Uh, yes, Raj, this is fucking amazing, man. What do you guys think? What do you think? You like it? Let's go and see the mount. 
Yasiraj, get on the mount. Hmm. Ah, I mean, like, here's the thing, right? Is like, are you doing anything different than what 50 other people have done in the competition beforehand? No, you're not. The transmog is original because I've never seen somebody use, I think it's called like a Spire of the Great Devourer or something like that, with the helmet. The helmet and the weapon are really cool, but this mount, it's just played out, man. It's just fucking played out. It's some busted ass fucking bootleg version of a male muncher that people are tired of seeing. This one looks way fucking better. Like if you had started on this mount, I would have liked it a lot more. But, and even that one, that one looks really good. But the first one that you went on, it just wasn't good enough, man. Not good. Yeah, I think that one's probably the best option. And Torn Gloomhound, yeah, something like that. Overall, I think this is just a typical old god transmog. And while it's unique in a way, it doesn't really have a good mount that goes along with it. So I'd only say that it's an okay set. You could do better. You could do a lot better. Let's go to the next one. Gilgamesh, Conqueror of Azeroth from the guild Nightmare on Elf Street. So what we have right here is Edgy DK number 13. Now, this Edgy DK is using the Mythic Tomb of Sargeras helmet, leggings, and boots. And also the Mythic Antorus DK chest piece, gloves, and belt. And then also the DK shoulders that come from the Spine of Deathwing on normal mode for his shoulders as well. With the weapon there, which comes from PvP for your arms warrior artifact appearance in Legion. So the problem that I have with this is the boots. These little fucking booties that you're wearing with this massive fucking shoulders. If this dude was trying to walk around, he would fall over if a strong wind pushed him the wrong way and he wasn't ready for it. This is some weird ass shit. This, if this guy was a, I know you're a warrior, stupid. That's how you have the arms warrior artifact appearance weapon. Of course I know that. Here's the thing. If this was a boss in Dark Souls, you would know to hit his feet. They would tell you to hit his feet. This is very clearly a weakness. Gilgamesh, we've seen this set a bunch of times. Is this cool? Yeah, I think this is cool. Is it original? No. Gilgamesh, do not fail me with this mount. Do not fail me with this mount. Look back. Okay. I'm going to turn around in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, get the fuck out of here. 1. Wow. I meant look at my back. Look, the cloak is good. Like, obviously, the cloak and the helmet are fucking amazing. Like, actually, let me see the cloak and the helmet again. Uh, get off the mount. Obviously, you've got Invincible, okay? So, like, it, it doesn't work very well. The cloak and the helmet are fucking amazing. I really, really like that. That is so fucking well put together. That is perfect. So, I I'm going to say that right now. That is really, really good. But using Invincible? Using Invincible? I'm going to be honest with you, man. Invincible looks really cool, but it doesn't really match with any armor set in the game. It just looks really fucking cool. It, this is a cookie cutter set with a cookie cutter mount. And the only good thing about it is the fact that the back of your helmet matched your cloak. Everything else about it? Oh, come on, guys. You don't have to throw that much stuff on them. Just a, you know, a tomato would do. Had no better fitting mount. Well, it looks like it's time for you to start farming then, doesn't it? Let's go to the next one. Thought whenever you look at the details work. I don't really think it's that great. Check my pet's name. Okay. Yep, cock. Wow, it's just about as original as your mount. Let's go to the next one. Greshish of Darnassus. Oh. Hmm. Yo. Yo, what up? Um... I don't know if I like this or not. I think that it's kind of like, it, it almost has an appeal, 
I, it does. It almost has an appeal. But the Lantern is just so fucking low res compared to the rest of the items that it doesn't really work that well. Like, Grenis, I see what you're trying to do. And I think the helmet and the weapon, and, you know, all that kind of stuff is okay. But the boots are a little bit weird. The legs are completely off color. And then on top of that, the Lantern looks like it came from Vanilla WoW. Let's see the mount. This is not good. Not good. D's n Oh my god. Look. The best thing that you have going for you is your character's eyes with the helmet. I think you have a really good base set going on, but using the Teldrassil Hippogriff from the BFA pre-expansion event is probably the best choice that you could have made, but the problem is that it can only do so much with a transmog that looks like this. I'm going to be honest with you. It looks like you just got done questing in Valshara. I don't like Valshara. Better luck next time. Bitch. Amarthil the Uncorrupted. I kind of like it. I actually kind of like this. So let's look at what's going on here, right? So that helmet and the shoulders right there, the World World Defiler set that comes from the Crocoon boxes. The gloves, the belt, and also the boots right there are from the ICC 10-man heroic mode uh, DK gear. And then the tabard there is from the original uh, the original Shadow Moon Valley. And then the weapons there are two different off-color versions of the sword that drops from uh, the Hellfire High Council in Hellfire Citadel. I like this. The reason why I like it is because he's using two colors and he's playing into it. So if he was using two of the same colored weapons, I feel like this set would be much worse. But because he's using two different colored weapons, he's actually using the blending. And if you look at the blending in the gear, it starts off green and then it gets purple. That's really well done. Like the blending on the armor is really good. Everything about this is very, very well done. Like, I, I know some people might be being, you know, might be being a little bit negative about this. Stop. Uh, might be being a little bit negative about this. The cloak is absolutely fucking terrible. Um, but the weapon is great. The weapons are great, and I think the set is really good. Turn back around. Now, I want you to look at something, okay? I want you to think about something. I want you to imagine yourself getting on the most perfect mount that you've ever seen. I want you to imagine all the pogs in the chat whenever you get on that right now. And whenever I open my eyes... I want to see you on that mount. I want to give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are we seeing a lot of pogs or are we seeing a lot of ruins? Um, all right, so listen. Uh, I guess, like, the green infernal is good, but it's just not really that amazing, man. Like, I'm sorry to say, like, it's just not that amazing. Like, it doesn't fit the purple theme that you've got going on here. Like, you have to, if you go for a two-tone set, you have to find a two-tone mount. How are you going to go with just a green infernal whenever the majority of your set is purple? Like, the green, if anything, those are the highlights. And then you've got this massive green-ass fucking mount. It's a saddle that's purple? True? True? Um, Big true. So true. Very true. That is true. That is very, very true. That is real as well. Real and true. All right. I'm going to give this some, some consideration. That is impressive. I think Chad is also impressed. Good job. We're going to go to the next one, but I'm going to keep you in mind. That's good. Let's go to the next one. Corrupted Dreadwing, I think, would have been better. You're right. Hi, Asmon. Hi, chat. 
So this is one of the, uh, this is obviously a Warlock transmog. This weapon right here drops from Gruul on normal mode, I believe, in Blackrock Foundry. Those leggings there, the leggings, I think, of the Akir, it comes from, uh, I think that's uh, Nighthold as well. The belt there comes from some sort of Warlock set as well. The gloves also come from Nighthold. Those shoulders there come from Mythic Blackrock Foundry, and the helmet comes from uh, Dragon Soul. And then this weapon, I think this weapon comes from Hellfire Citadel, but I could be wrong about that. What is that? Warmonger and Gladi. Okay, so it's basically Hellfire Citadel, but it's the, uh, it's the different coloration so it's the same tier of hellfire citadel but not exactly the same thing overall this is a pretty nice looking set and then also using of course the shadow moon tabard as well same as the last guy what do you guys think he actually is using a really good cloak that cloak actually works that is a really really good cloak to use with this uh with this tabard yeah they're both using the same cloak what do you guys think you guys like it Control C, Control V. Yeah, yeah, they're both green transmog. I swear I planned my set before this. Yeah, you guys standing next to each other it doesn't really do yourselves any favors, but it's okay. They're always going to judge the two of you guys next to each other. Tilux, hit us with the mount. Get us with the mount. Get on the mount. I want to see it. Same with my mount. Man, what y'all doing? Man, what? Man, what? What, dude? Like, dude. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think the I don't think this one's as good as the other one. Like, what do you guys think? Is the is the guy one better or is the girl one better? Which one's better, the guy or the girl? Yeah, which one's better, the guy? Squad W, my man. All right, I see how it is. You know what? I would probably have to agree with that. I think that the guy one is actually a little bit better too. Infernal is a warlock pet. Yeah, I would say so. It does make a little bit more sense, but you could also have the warlock pet anyway. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. But I do like these sets. I think they're interesting, and I'm glad that you guys did this idea. But um, I think that personally, the uh, the, the guy one does look a little bit better. T-Rex, the fact is that like, we've seen so many warlock sets with that helmet and no shoulders and like the, the night hold gloves for... Like, for Warlocks, it, it's just kind of boring at this point, man. Like, let's go ahead and try something a little bit new. Like, I don't know why we keep seeing the same shit, man. Let's go ahead. We're going to look at the next one. Make them duel. No, it's okay. Can I try my other one? Yeah, go ahead. Let's see it. Jeez, this kid's spazzing out. Let's get on the other mount. Let's see what its other set is. So, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? If you had used this set, chat would have liked it a lot. And this is actually like straight up like a one true king transmog tabard. It's fucking badass. Chat, see, look at that. Chat's already fucking like you should have like you have to understand. You have to play to the crowd. And I, I, I can make some decisions on my own, but I cannot. If I said this set was bad, I really think the chat would have blown up. It actually is probably a better and more unique set than the one that you originally had, though, to be completely fair. Uh, I think this one's much more original. Uh, I like it a lot. Good job. Looks really good. Lissana, the Light of Dawn from the Guild Last Whisper. As a disciplined priest that heals by smiting enemies, I tried to mix light colored transmog with a slightly dark undertone. Clap in the chat, boys. Oh. I feel like it's really kind of low res. Like, there's nothing really that great about this set. I mean, I think that the chess piece is really interesting, but it's not that original. You're, use, you're just using the priest tier five shoulders and helmet, and you're using some random chess piece from like Vanilla WoW, and you're using a staff that comes from like, I don't know, level 35. It's not really that great, man. Like, it, it's not original enough. Now, obviously, if this was a classic transmog competition, you'd probably have some merit going. But overall, I don't think this is really that amazing. It's a spirit healer? Not quite. Um, low res? Yeah, this is kind of low res, man. And I don't think low res is entirely a bad thing, but it just has to be original. I don't really know if this is original enough. This is basically just a tier set with a different chess piece. Let's see the mount. Get off that mount. Tried to mix the saddle in. 
Yeah, it mixed just as well as like uh, putting nails into uh, cornbread. By the way, you don't want to do that. Why didn't you just get on this one? Are you crazy? Why the fuck would you not pick that one at the beginning? Do you really think that that big ass fucking Azure Strider mount is actually going to make any more sense than this? This is actually pretty good. It matches your color theme really well. Why the fuck would you ever get on the first one? Like, why do you guys do this? Why do you get on a bad mount at the first time and then get on a good mount the second time? That's crazy. Like, this needs to be better. Lasagna. Lasagna, listen. My girlfriend told me. Well. Don't you let that woman think for you, man. Don't you let her think for you, man. You gotta be your own man. You gotta make your own decisions. You gotta go out in life and pick your own mounts. You gotta farm your own mounts. Don't let her, like, is she, is her character in this competition? No, it's fucking not. That's yours. Don't let her run your life. I will, sir. Don't let me run your life either. I, you're, now you're doing it to me. God damn it. All right, let's go to the next one. What an idiot. By the way, what? What? What do you need? Look at this. Did your girlfriend get that too? Did your girlfriend tell you to do that too? Did she tell you to do that? No. She's a smart girl then. Damn. Damn. Oh yeah, dude. So, uh, all right, here's the thing, guys. Is that this is really just two different sets? This is the uh, this is the elite uh, gladiator demonic gladiator set helmet and shoulders with all of the rest of the pieces that come from old war 25 man hard modes. So and then the boots right sorry the weapons right there are of course the weapons from Blackhand. This is fucking badass though. Like I'm gonna say that. Like this is really really fucking badass. I love this set. What do you guys think? This is a set you would use 100%. True, dude. I, I actually think that this is one of my favorite sets in the whole game. Like, the, uh, the Demonic Gladiator Elite Warrior set is one of my favorite sets in the whole fucking game. I love it. Anomaly? Anomaly. I want you to understand something right now. You have the opportunity to show that edgy, badass-looking black and red warriors don't look like morons whenever they get on their mounts. There's a lot of pressure on you right now. Do not get on the wrong mount. Do not even think about getting on the wrong mount. This is for all warriors. All warriors are waiting and relying on you to get on the right mount. God forgive me. Where'd you get that mount? Where'd you where'd you get where'd you get that mount? Where'd you get it? Where'd you get the- where'd you get the mount? Hmm? Where'd you get it? It was a gift? You know what else was a gift? Pandora's box. And when it was opened, it unleashed the terrors on the world. And you've unleashed your terror on us. Can you believe that? Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely fucking disgusting. A storm out. Anomaly. Your set, to be honest with you, is not that original. Like, uh, while it is cool, it is not that original. It's really just two different sets put together, and I don't think that I would be able to give it a placing. However, I do think that it's okay. Let's go to the next one! Oh, good! Oh, good! Dimus, champion of the frozen waste. 
Wow, with the dark shaman shoulders right there and the boots right there. Hey, Asma, my lad. Hey, what's up, dude? With I, Oh, my God. This is really, really nice. With the boots right there from Trial of Valor, I am coming from the north. Yes, I can tell. I, I can absolutely tell. And oh, my God. Dude, that's fu- Dude, nobody's done this before. What the fuck, man? Oh my god, this is crazy. Uh, dude, this is awesome. I, I, I love this. This is Dwarf Thor. Yeah, exactly, man. I like it a lot. Good fucking job, man. Like, I didn't even know what weapon he was going to bring out until he saw those. Those are the offhands that you had with Doomhammer from back in, uh, back in Legion. And now you can transmog them together. Yeah, this is some fucking Falstead Wildhammer shit going on. I like it a lot. This is fucking awesome. This is what a dwarf transmog is supposed to look like. Dimus. Mount. Get on the mount. Oh, he's backing up. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. This is... Wow. Wow. Fuck, dude. The runes on the face... Holy shit. Holy shit. That's what we're looking for. That's what we like to see. That is a... Wow. Th this is so good. Is this the uh, the woolly mammoth? Yeah. Oh my fucking god. This is a... Th this is what you like to see. This matches in terms of the fucking color. It matches in terms of the theme. I'm gonna kick for this, but shout out to my boyfriend. Listen. He asked me to? So you're telling me you're a simp for your boyfriend now? You just do anything he tells you? Apparently? <laughs> it's a lucky guy. Alright. Let's go back over to the next one. Listen. This is fucking amazing. The colors are really well done. The blue, honestly, this mount would not have worked for anyone else except you. And for you, not only did it work, it excelled. This is fucking amazing. I love it. What do you guys think? You love to see it? Yeah, you love to fucking see it, man. I like it a lot, man. This is really, really good. Let me go to the next one. Uwabubulguafin from Legend of Pandaria from the guild Pwn Stars. So, listen. So, he's using the store chess piece, okay? Like, I don't know if I can get over this. But he's using the store chess piece with the shoulders from Siege of Orgamar. And then the boots right there are from... I think these are like... Aren't these like crafting... These are like crafting frost-resistance boots and legs from Burning Crusade. What the fuck is this? Polar boots? Polar boots? What the fuck is going on here? Why do you have a banana? Get him out of here. Get him, get him out of here. What the fuck is this? So listen, it, this is almost like this guy has on frost resistance gear. If frost resistance gear was still a thing. But unfortunately it's not. So I don't really know how highly I'm going to rate this. He's good. I think it's unique, okay? It's definitely unique. Let's see the mount. No, no, no. There's no reason to cry. It's all right. But the gloves are just super low res. The gloves are fucking garbage. Let's... Oh, uh, actually, for this set? That works pretty well. For this set, this one works actually pretty well. What do you guys think? I kind of like this. Yeah, this actually looks pretty good, man. It's nice. It's very well designed. I think that overall, it's a really nice set. The brown sticks out too much. Yeah, I feel like obviously it could have been a little bit better. But overall, I think this is really well done. I, I like it a lot. I think this person put in a lot of effort into this. And I can see why uh, I can see why they did. I think this is a very, very good job, man. I, I like it a lot. Let's go on to the next one. This is good, though. I like it. Good work. I'm proud of you. 
It's a seven to a seven eight and I know mounches. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, I think it's unique at least. Like I'll say that for sure. Like whenever I see a, a transmog like this, it's not like super amazing or anything like that, but it's unique and it uses a color theme that's very unused. I'm impressed by it regardless because it's always good to see people trying new things. Let's go to the next one. Pooby the Fabulous. <sighs> okay. I will attempt to be unbiased. Okay. I hate pandas. I think they suck. I think they're pieces of shit. I think the belt that you're using there from Emerald Nightmare LFR and Giorgio's staff of pure moods from G Kuhn in Throne of Thunder and the shoulders there from Neantorus set for monks. Bro, this guy's this guy's dealing with more balls than a porn star. Look at this. This is ridiculous. He's got fucking like 12 balls on his character. This is incredible. I, I don't want to see this. This is nasty. There's almost a charm to this. But I want to emphasize the word that I said just a second ago. Almost. Get on a mount. Pooby, let's see the mount. Wow. That's fucking awesome. That's actually really fucking good. Wow. I'm so glad that this game isn't realistic, because if it was, this little fucking crane's legs would break. <laughs> Try and carry his fat ass going around, dude. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> Listen, this is fucking amazing. Like, this is a set, dude, I, I really think this is a set that would only... This is what I love to see, man is somebody has a set that just looks like trash but you go ahead and you put a mount on it and it just ties it together perfectly like this set went from being a two to being like a nine like this is really really good like what do you guys think like i, I really I, I really like this a lot a nine what the fuck yeah i mean like the color theme especially with like one of the riding cranes and having it reinforced throughout like not only his primary color of the set but his secondary color as well that's really really good man i i don't know guys like i, I like it a lot good fucking work man this is great pooby i'm proud of you man i'm fucking proud of you like you came in here as a panda and, and, and this guy might actually get a placing, dude. I'm fucking impressed. Same legs. Wait, what's this picture y'all were linking around? What's this? Give me a minute. Let me see it. What, what's this picture y'all were linking around? that this mount can run at 100% speed, okay? It doesn't matter how skinny the legs are. If you're running fast, if you're going fast, it, it's about it, it's about the form. It's about the being focused on, on running fast, okay? Same legs, it's not the same legs, okay? Mine are about, deers are strong too? Yeah, I'm like a deer, man. That's completely fine, there's nothing wrong with it. It's aerodynamics, exactly. Let's go to the next one. Yo, what? Yo, what? Oh my god. Those are the offset tier 5 shoulders that come from SSC and TK. The helmet that came from the tier 13 set for Warlocks and Dragon Soul. The chess piece that came from the Tin Man version of the tier 8 set for Warlocks and Olduwar. And then also the staff that he's using that comes from the uh, Priest Artifact appearance. Holy shit. 
This is nice. Wow. This bitch came straight out of Minus Morgul. I love it. God damn. He has a second one they'd like to show. All right. Well, we want to see it. Let's see the mount first, though. Let's see the mount. I like it a lot. Yeah, I, I, I love this. That works. That works, dude. That's the Abyss Seeker or Abyss Worm that comes from Mistress Shazin in, in, uh, in Tomb of Sargeras. This is great, man. I, I, I fucking love this. This is really, really clean. Like, the reason why I like this so much is because I have literally never seen somebody use those shoulders before. Those shoulders have been fucking irrelevant throughout all of the transmog competitions. I literally cannot remember a single time that somebody has used those shoulders. And I don't think anybody has ever used that version of the Priest Artifact Appearance weapon. That is really, really nice. Can you get off the mount so we can see this again? Oh, the fucking weapon, dude. Oh my god. That's the staff. That's... That's really good. That is really, really good. I don't know which one's better, honestly. Like, I feel like they're both really, really good. Like, that's the staff that comes from, I think, Shab Pride in Siege of Orgrimmar. This is really, really good. Nice job, Lilith. I like it a lot. Good work. I'm proud of you. Welpy of the Jungle from the Guild Devastation. Welpy, let me explain something to you, okay? If you had to rate your transmog on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate it? He's like a 10, of course. Would you know what my rating would do to your transmog? It would multiply it by zero. Welpley. This is one of the saddest, sorriest excuses for transmog sets that I've ever seen in my entire life. I would say you're an NA spy. But even the NA have more pride than to come into here with this scuffed-ass primal demon hunter transmog that looks like you just stepped right out of Timeless Isle, or sorry, not Timeless Isle, out of Tanan Jungle, and you're just in your full fucking Benthic gear. Or what even was it back then? Benthic, Baneful, like, I don't even fucking remember. You do, though, because you're wearing it. This is the worst set that I've seen today. The reason why it's the worst set that I've seen today is because of the fact that it's so unoriginal and it tries to be original. This is absolutely bad. I understand that you come in here and you want to do your best, but you need to know that I need to give you my best type of rating. And today, Welpley, your set fucking sucks. Get on the mount. I think it's bad. I think it sucks. Uh, I really, I, I think it just straight up fucking sucks. Get on the mount. The green proto drake. Welpley. I cannot think of anything more boring and unoriginal. While I see that you're trying to do something that's at least kind of good, I just don't really think it's that great. It's okay. I, I think, look, everybody, see, here's the thing, right? Now, I'm the asshole. See, here, I, I, I dude, man, l l listen. I am not the asshole here. I am doing what I need to do. I am saying what I need to say. I don't think that it's that good. I'm not bullying him. I'm motivating him to try harder next time, and that's what he's going to do. Isn't that right? You're going to try to find a transmog that's a little bit better. Maybe I'm a little bit hard on Demon Hunter transmogs, but you know what? We need to do a better job with them. Let's go to the next one. Well, boy, you did an okay job, I guess, all right? A chatty happy now, you did, you did okay. The mount's okay. I, it's, it's okay. Listen. Yeah, I do better next time, though. Oh. Blood Champion Karanda. With the Corrupted Ashbringer offhand appearance, off-color appearance, the shoulders right there from High Mall that are just like the regular shoulders, I think those are the LFR version of the High Mall shoulders. They could just be War of Draenor uh, epic items. Uh, those gloves there are awesome from War of Draenor. That belt there comes from 25-man Old War for Warriors. That chest piece there is from just questing over there in the Horde areas and, and BFA. The leggings are from, I think that's from Toll the Gore. And then the boots there are also from questing over in the uh, Interior Guard Sound. I actually think this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? 
Yeah, I, I think this is good. Yeah, this I, I, I like this. This is great. Not the boots. You guys don't like the boots. I can see why some people don't like the boots. I like the color theme, and I think that it's good. And I think the usage of the belt is definitely interesting. I don't really know how, how well this is actually going to go. But the reason why I'm saying this isn't complete trash is just because it's original and I haven't seen people use it before. But I do want you to understand the set is really not that good. So let's go ahead and let's see the mount. Karanda, let's see the mount. Somebody in my chat said before anything, he said that he's going to use the honor level 15 mount. And that person in my chat is a fucking prophet. I read it. Obviously, it was a pretty easy decision to actually come to that conclusion. But the reality is that this mount matches very well with your transmog. Gentlemen, what do you think? That was me. Okay. It's boring. I don't know if it's boring, guys. I think that it's actually pretty nice. Uh, the mount works really well with it, and I'm impressed. I like it a lot. Karanda, I really like what you've done with your mount, and I think that it looks really good. Your transmog itself is pretty mediocre, so I don't really know how it's going to average out, but I do think that your mount is a perfect match for your transmog. Let's go to the next one. Holy shit! Twilight Banisher, Twilight Banquisher, Appa Appa from the guild, wipe it off. I'm gonna have to after I get done looking at this set. This is awesome. Holy fuck, this is amazing. This is the Blood Elf Heritage Armor with the shoulders, the belt, and the boots right there. With the leggings and also the gloves there from the first season of uh, Legion PvP for male classes. And also the chest piece as well. With the helmet there from, I believe, that's the Ruthless Gladiator's helmet from Cataclysm. Is that right about the helmet here? Let me go ahead and double check real quick. Ruthless Gladiator's helmet. How could I possibly be wrong? And look at the fucking bow. You never see this bow. This bow is the... Uh, Vengeful Gladiator's Longbow. Vengeful Gladiator's Longbow from Burning Crusade. Holy shit. This is really nice. This is a completely original fucking set, man. I love this. We have never seen the bow matches the mount. Alright, get on the mount. Let's see it. I like it. I'll be honest. I like it. You guys think that it's ruined. I, I I actually think this is really cool. Like, would have been better with a Netherwing Drake? I actually don't think so because it would have been really low res and it would have contrasted badly with his character. I, I think this is really good. Like, obviously, I think the transmog itself... Get off the mount. I think the transmog itself is incredibly well done. Like, everything about this, this is something I have literally never seen somebody try before. And again, I do want to say I am very, very biased towards new ideas. If I see somebody come in here with a new idea, I am always super fucking hyped to see it. And I think that what Appa did here was absolutely a new idea. So, Appa, I love this. I think that everything about this is really well done. And overall, I like it a lot. This is very, very well done. Dark Phoenix. Uh, I think this is great. Purple does equal win. This is brown. It's only got a little bit of purple on it. What do you mean? Yeah, right, dude. Regardless, I think it's fucking amazing, man. It's a completely different theme and I've seen before and I like it a lot. Good job. Drunk Catherine the Guild Storm's End. Ah! Uh, I mean, this is kind of like a very, very... Hey, laddie, my wild number brand is also often wear nothing to shoe off their chest, but have you ever gotten your nipples frostbitten whenever you're too high up in the skies of snowy mountains? No thank you, Addy. Okay, I've never actually thought about my nipples getting frostbite, but unfortunately because of you, now I have. So, you know, I think this is actually a pretty interesting set, and one of the weapons that he's using here is pretty cool. This weapon right here is one of the new one-handed weapons that comes from Exile's Reach, and he's also using one of the original Doomhammer maces from uh, the Shaman Artifact appearance. And then the rest of his pieces are pretty much all of the, uh, they're the heritage armor for dwarves, and then also some of the PvP gear for, um, for, uh, for hunters and male wearers back in, uh, in Legion as well. I think this is okay. 
B little baby griffin. Yeah, yeah, I know. Little baby griffin. Yeah, two heritage. Yeah, I think that you've got the, uh, I think it's the, the belt and uh, the legs that I think are heritage. But regardless, I think this is a pretty nice looking set. Get on your mount. Griffin. Everybody knew it. This is really good. Like, in terms of cleanliness, this is really, really good. Especially if you look at the feathers on the back of his head with the feathers on the griffin. That is really, really clean, man. Like, I, I hate to say it, like, it's a basic set, but basic doesn't mean bad. Basic is just really well done. Uh, I'm straight up impressed by this, and I think this guy actually did a great job with this set. What do you guys think? Beard clipping? Uh, the beard clipping. Eh, I don't really give too much of a fuck about that. I don't think it matters. Overall, I think this looks great, man. I love it. I think he did a great job with this, and I like it a lot. Less is more. Yeah, sometimes less is more, and I think with Drunk Cat, it actually makes sense. Less is more. Great fucking work. A very basic, simplistic Dwarven transmug that works very well. Good job. I'm proud of you. Let's go to the next one. Titan Slayer native. So let's see what he's got going on here. I think the best part of this set is the fact that he's dual wielding the Stromkar weapons. There's the original base artifact appearance of Stromkar, which is the Arms Warrior artifact weapon. He's also using the boots right here. These boots are pretty fucking weird. Those are the boots that come from the first boss in, uh, in the Garothi World Breaker. That's the first boss in Mythic from Argus. All the rest of these pieces are pretty much all of the Shadow Ends pre-order set, minus the helmet that comes from World Questing and Zuldazar, and then also the belt that comes from, I believe, that's the Wild Gladiator's belt from PvP in, uh, let's see, yeah, Wild Gladiator's belt from PvP back in War is Draenor. So I kind of like this. But I feel like it might not be original enough. By the way, Asma, what? Thanks for the new world beta king. Yeah, sure, dude. Sure. My pleasure. What do you guys think? Yo, what do you guys think? The helm killed it? I do think the helmet looks a little bit stupid, bro. Like, I'm gonna be honest. The helmet, it just, it comes out of fucking nowhere. It's like you've got this badass fucking Titan Slayer transmog, and then you got this weird-ass fucking shit going on on your head, dude. And then also, so much of the set comes from a store set that's not really that impressive to me, because you're wearing, like, there's only, like, two pieces, really, that are different than the full set, man. Like, how's that supposed to get my dick hard? Let's see the mount. Okay. Here's being wrong, and here's being right. You're, like, right about here. You are so close to being right, but you're still in the wrong category. This was so close to being a hit. This is like whenever somebody is, like, trying to hit a, ball, a baseball, and they hit it, and they just hit the very tip of the baseball, and it goes like this. Boop! And then it just goes into the back, and they still get struck out. That's exactly what you did. You just do the little boop, and that's it. Yeah, that's a foul. You got three more chances. Not that good. Native, you almost hit a home run with that mount. You almost did. But unfortunately, you got to take another swing. Let's go again. What would have been a home run? I don't know. Only figured out. Inquisitor Grin Gwynfell. Kulteran Monster Hunter and Witch Slaying Specialist at your service. Wow. Damn. Fat Geralt? <laughs> yeah, Fat Geralt, dude. <laughs> Big old fat witch. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, dude. Listen, I, I like it, man. I think it actually looks pretty good. Like, in terms of, like, a BFA transmog, like, everything about the theme works really well. And I do like it, man. Yeah, what do you guys think? 
Yeah, he hunts hamburgers, exactly. Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, it's like Fat Gale almost. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's a lot of uh, a lot of comparisons being made. Do you guys like it or not? Uh, I kind of do, actually. I think it fits really well together. Gwynfell, let's see the mount. Gwynfell, I want you to get on a good mount. I don't always slay the beasts I hunt. Sometimes I capture them, bend them to my will, and force them to do my bidding. What the fuck? I'm going to be honest. I don't think this mount works that well. It almost makes me feel sad for the mount. You ever seen like a really, really big person try to ride a miniature horse and you feel bad for the horse? Gwyn. That's how I feel right now. Listen, I'm sorry to say. This needs to be a little bit better. It needs to be a lot better, honestly. Fat Geralt, a little bit too fat for this mount. You gotta try a better mount, man. It's like it even, like this mount even emphasizes your belly, man. Like, I mean, come on. Like, you gotta try something better than that. I, I just, I don't think this is gonna work a whole lot. Let me go back to the next one and we'll see what else we've got. All right. Blood Champion Jackeye. Lieutenant Jackie reporting for duty. I've been sent on behalf of Lord Yugamon and Castle Nathria to ensure that the only the best looking adventurers join us in Revendreth. Vanity is a very important part of our people. This is actually really... This is actually pretty cool. So, like, let's see what he's got going on here. Um, those boots right there, and then also the shoulders are part of the Wild Gladiator set for PvP back in Warlords of Draenor. The gloves right there come from Heroic Argus, and also the helmet comes from Heroic Argus in, uh, in, in Antorus. The sword, of course, is the Lionheart Executioner. And then the chest piece there, the chest piece is the most interesting part about this entire set. The chest piece is the tier 7, the Naxxramas 25-man Dreadnought chest piece recolor. From 25 man max that is really nice and then of course the belt right there is one of the pvp belts that i think comes from more of the drain as well and the leggings come from the antorist warrior set i like this like this is really good what do you guys think like the belt sucks i don't think it does i i, I really don't I, I think this is actually pretty cool Weapon sucks. I, I do think the weapon is a little bit low res, okay? I will give that to you guys. I will agree with you guys. The weapon is a little bit low res, but that does not mean that the set is bad. I think this is a great looking set, and I really like what he's done and how he's put it together. I'm very impressed by this, and I actually like it a lot. This is really, really good. Yeah, it could enchant the belt, uh, with the belt or I feel like it could be a little bit different. But overall, I like it a lot. This is a Rivendreth transmog before Shadowlands comes out, and I'm impressed by it. I like it a lot. Good. Let's go to the next one. Firelord Freak. So he's going with an Asmongold transmog. Okay. Oh. Wow. I, I don't know why I forgot about your mount. Sorry, Freak. Uh, give me one second. Jackie, get on your mount. Sorry. I don't, I don't know why I got confused. Get on your mount. The mighty steed do you, and I have a history. Above the time in the mall, I saw a uh, Kyrian drop a white-haired man into the skies. The scouting party was sent and returned with two of these. All right, that's clever. The mighty steed and I have a history. Yeah, yeah, very, very fucking clever. Listen. I actually think the Warforged Nightmare would have been a better choice than Invincible. I hate to say that a Stormmount would have been a better choice, but I genuinely think that it would have been. Am I right? Yeah, I, I feel like it... I feel like it would have been much better. Overall, I just don't really feel like an Invincible. It's just like, it's such a hard mount to make a transmog around. And I don't think that you really hit the... You didn't really hit the nail on the head. You didn't miss it, but you just kind of fucked up. Okay, like that's about it. It's not amazing. It's okay. I would say it's okay, but it's not amazing. Let's go to the next one. Time walking seed? There's no way. It's too blue. 
Now this... This is really good. Like, what do you guys think about this? I, I really, really like this. Earth Ripple, I, I don't even know what shoulders these are. These are fucking amazing, man. Like, a chest is shit. I think the chest sucks too, personally. So, a lot of the other pieces, I think, are so fucking good in this set, man. This is not actually a Firelands Andy set. Only the helmet is from Firelands. And I think maybe the offhand is too, but I don't remember. Um, overall, I like this a lot. It's just that to me, I feel like, what is this offhand here? Molten Scream? Yeah, probably from Firelands, actually. Besides that, the weapon there is from Warriors of Draenor PvP. And I think it's like the Warmongering Gladiator Slicer. Regardless, I think this looks really nice. This is a Firelands set. This is a Fire Mage set that also is kind of evil at the same time. And I like that, man. This is a Firelands Mage. Yeah, what do you guys think? The color of the fires don't match. I think they basically do. Like, they, they don't suck. They don't... They match well enough for it not to be noticeable that they don't match. This mount right here. This is your chance to prove all of these dipshits wrong. Do not get... Fuck. Not... Oh, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Woo, that's a fuck up. That's a fuck up, dude. That's a big old fuck up. Listen, I'm going to be honest. It looks like dog shit to me. This mount doesn't work at all. It doesn't fit with the more intricate nature of your set. It's very basic. It's very plain. And it's very well designed. Your set is not. You know what's really sad? Is that person throwing the rotten orange on you actually made your set look better. Get off. It's perfect? Wait, you guys like it? You guys like it? Alright, get back on it. Get back on it. Let me see it. Let me see it again. You know what? It's not as bad as I originally thought it was. Okay, especially whenever... Like, so, whenever he originally got on the mount, I didn't see, like, the uh, the chest here with, like, the fire coming out of it. I think with the chest with the fire coming out of it, it, it does look a little bit better. Yeah, sure. But is this really something I get super excited over? Not really. Like, I, I think this is an okay-looking set, but it's not really a winner in my mind. I, I just... I don't know. I don't think it's a winner. Like, am I wrong? Like, I, I don't know. Like, chat pressure? No, no, it's not chat pressure, okay? I know the chat. Listen, here's the thing, guys. I, I know the chat sometimes likes to disagree with me. And that's okay. But sometimes I can agree with them. Sometimes I don't. Overall, I can see where you guys are coming from whenever you say this is a cool-looking mount. And maybe this one might have looked a little bit better. I, I don't really know. But overall, it it's kind of hard to find them. I, 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 I think this looks way better. Like, uh, yeah, I think this is way better. Like, okay, I I'm not the only person. Yeah, th this is way better. Come in here with this mount next time, and you might actually get a placing. I like it a lot. Good job. Let's go to the next one. Predator Armoda from the Guild, the New Alliance. I've never seen somebody that's made me want to that's made me want to faction change more. Salam Akinam. Uh, yes, of course. So. Uh, what do you guys think? That's Urder? Well, I don't know what Urder is. Urder for a league? Okay, that's cool. I don't play that dumbass game. So I'm just going to assume that I didn't read that. Overall, so this guy is a primal motherfucker. Okay? This guy butt fucks saber tooth tigers. That's impressive. He's got one right there on his t-shirt there. And then the uh, obviously the leggings right there come from Cult Tiris. The belt's from the LFR version of Hellfire Citadel. The weapons, I really like the weapons. That helmet there comes from a quest line in Terracar Forest, 
which is extremely rare. Not a lot of people have that. This used to be a very, a very good way of telling that bad warriors were there. What is this here? Rip Fang Paw. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that... Google Erdir? It doesn't really matter a whole lot to me, man. If it's some league thing, who gives a fuck? Charmoda, I like it. But let's see the mount. Check cloak. That's pretty nice. That is actually pretty nice, man. This this guy lives off the fucking land. Okay. Here's the problem with your cloak, though. Is the helmet is so... The Craghorn Leaper? What the fuck? Oh my god. Wow. I, uh... I'm kind of a fan of this. Yeah, what do you guys think? I, I, I like it in a lot of ways. Is it supposed to be Nunu and Womp? I have no idea what that is. But regardless, I think this is really, really nice. Like, I kind of like... The reason why I like this is we have never once in a competition had somebody use this mount as a mount in a trans mount competition. And any time that we have somebody do something different in this way, it automatically impresses me because they're doing something new and they're doing something unique. I love to see people that are trying new things and doing new things. This is awesome to see. I'm very, very happy to see this, man. Good fucking work, Charmoda. I like this a lot. I'm proud of you. Good work. Let's go to the next one. Check pet. Jamie Ackeson? Who the fuck is that? What the fuck is that supposed to- what's that- what's that supposed to mean? I can? You can what- what the fuck are you talking about? I can Google it? I'm gonna Google shit. I'm not gonna look up some fucking- I'm not gonna look up your pet? Get the hell out of here. Swedish right-wing politician. He's a cat IRL. Okay, yeah, whatever. Who gives a shit? He's a Swedish Trump? Well, he's gonna build a wall and he's gonna keep out. I don't know who the fuck they. I, I honestly, I'm beyond. I don't know what. I don't know what the bordering countries of Sweden are. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, and, and people think like, here's what you guys need to understand. Like, this is not about like being an American. I only know where like five states are. I know Texas, Florida, California. Oklahoma's on top of Texas. Four states. There it is. Four states. I don't need to know where they are. Doesn't matter to me. It's irrelevant. Ooh. Even I know more than you? Thank you. This is awesome. This is actually a really good set. Greetings, oh so great warrior. I'm an old arc mage that lives alone in a tower on a small island. I love this. Straight up, I love this. It, it, uh, this is an incredibly well well done set. So he's using the mage tower artifact appearance for the frost weapon. The helmet right here. This is one of the helmets that comes out of the Hollow's End event. With the dude, the shoulders and the chest piece and the belt right there from the uh, what's that Emerald Nightmare and the gloves. What are these gloves from? Is this from uh, Stone Wrapper Stone Warper Wraps? Isn't this from like uh, Black Rock Foundry? I don't even know. This is really, really good. This is straight up. It had some Karazhan? No, it's not. Um, I love the fucking weapon. I love the helmet. I love the shoulders. I love the chest piece. I think this is actually a really, really well done classical mage set from like a fantasy perspective. I love this, man. This is a straight up fucking wizard. I like this a lot. Let's see the mount. Mr. Wizard, show us your mount. I just use mountains if I have to get to my old buddy. Here and he does the job nicely. Usually I just teleport. Okay. So let me go ahead and explain something to you. Get off the mount.
you're very lucky you can teleport. Because that mount sucks. That is an absolute dog shit ass mount. The transmog itself is amazing. I love it. But the mount is not. I don't like the mount. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I really, really like the transmog, but I don't think the mount looks that great, man. He tried, though. Oh, yeah, he tried. I mean, that's great that he tried. I'm very happy that he tried. It was good, though. I don't think that it was that good. Like, get back on it again. Let me see again. Let me see it again. <clears throat> I can see why you guys like it. Okay, like, I can see why you guys like it. Can I at least say that? I, I can see why you like it. I don't think it's amazing, personally, but I think that it's okay. How about that? I think that it's okay. It's high fantasy. It is certainly a high fantasy mount. That's definitely true. Check the saddle on the back. Yeah, I think it looks okay. The cloak is pretty shitty, though, but overall, I think it looks okay. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, not. A, I guess it's just not what I was expecting. More so than anything else. Let's go to the next one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have something to say, Asmon. I bet you do. I bet you do. Let's hear it. It seems like more and more people have discovered some kind of add-ons or third-party programs to get in faster, so it was really hard to get in with my bare hands. I recommend to change the group name to something else to prevent botting. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I will look at it and figure out a better way to do it. Thank you. I, I will try something different. I will make different names or do it on a different character or something like that. Obviously, this is very important for me to preserve the integrity of our competition and make sure that we always make the right decisions and we do the right thing. We'll figure out what it's going to be, though. Where am I cool? He's, uh, he's chilling. I don't know where McConnell is. That one guy. Hmm. I really kind of like the boots, the belt, and the weapon. I actually really kind of like that. Read chat. Shit. What did he say again? One more thing. Oh, shit. Sorry. Step back a bit and close your eyes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go to the let, let's just let's just go to the let's just go to the next one, all right? I, I don't even have anything to say. I have nothing to fucking say. Shameless beyond shameless, okay? Beyond fucking shameless. Let's go to the next one. That one guy from the guild, Royal Night Elves. I actually really like this a lot. I think the helmet and the shoulders and everything matches together very well. I think the red on the uh, on the weapons accents it in a quite interesting way. And I think this does look good. It's like a desert blood warrior or something like that. I think it's cool. Uh, not amazing, not incredible, but I think that it's nice. Get on the mount. Let's see the mount. This better be a good mount, by the way. Not a bad mount. A good mount, that one guy. Camel? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's a really good choice. I like it a lot. Nice fucking job, that one guy. Oh, my God. I like this a lot. This is really, really clean, man. Like, I've never seen somebody use a scorpion mount on a desert transmog like this before. The colors work really well. I just enjoy this. Yeah, good fucking job. An elite version of Edwin Van Cleef? Yeah, something like that. This is really cool. 
Yeah, this is some fucking, yeah, like the Scorpion King or some shit. It's badass, man. I like it a lot. Good work. Park. Just, I've got to get that fucking piece of shit out of here. Where, I can't click him. I can't click him. I can't get... You see what you made me do? Do you see what you made me do? Listen, I'm going to go ahead and explain something to you. Pank Rut, the dreamer. Here's what this is. This is the kind of set that I see these girls on Twitter using as their profile picture. And if I ever wanted to stalk them to see if they were hot in real life, I have to scroll through 40 different fucking pictures of achievements that they've gotten in WoW to find one goddamn selfie. This is too much. I am sick of this shit. What is this garbage, man? He's using the wings? You're gonna use the wings? Are you fucking kidding me, man? I, I, dude, I, I cannot fucking deal with this. There's too many people that are using these fucking sets and it drives me crazy. It drives me absolutely fucking crazy using the wings. And you know what the worst part about this is? The worst part about this is that it's really good. That's the worst shit. It's actually really good. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, it, it's actually really, really well done. Like, the colors are amazing. Like, the, the Firelands gloves and boots there are really good. The tabard there of the... I, I forgot which tabard that is. The BFA tabard, I believe, is really good. The weapon is perfect. Like, this is really great. Why do I have to... Why do I have to say this is good? Let's see them out. Okay. Pankra, let's see them out. Okay. Okay. I feel a little bit better about myself. I think, obviously, the mount is interesting, but I don't think that it's a great choice. I think that it's an average choice. It's an okay-looking choice, but it's not necessarily something that's perfect. Like, I'm very glad that... I'm very glad that you didn't get on a perfect mount. Because if you did, I would feel like kind of an asshole having to not give you the placing because you're wearing those fucking wings. Honestly, I think this is really, really good. Like, even wings not even included, this is really, really good. I'll check your cloak in a minute, that one guy. This is a this is a great set. I'm sorry to say, this is actually a great set. Cloak is very good. That's a Firelands vendor cloak. I like it. Good job. I'm proud of you. Uh, I actually do like this set a lot. The purple unicorn is 10x better. I don't know. Thanks, Asmon. Yeah, of course. Day night. Day in night. Vengeance incarnate. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Your set isn't bad. It's boring. This is a boring set. How many DK sets have we seen that are just like this? This is a good set. It's not a bad set. But it is boring. Why is it boring? Let's talk about it. Number one, the only two cool pieces that you have are the helmet, and sorry, the shoulders and the chest piece that obviously come from the Emerald Nightmare DK set. You have also the belt that comes from PvP and Warlords of Draenor with the starting DK sword. While I think that's interesting, can somebody, is it, what, are we, are we in another plague here? Like, why is it raining fish today? Why are we- why is it raining fish? Get him out of here. I- I- yeah, what, what is this? God damn. Day and night, vengeance incarnate. Listen, this does look decent, okay? But it only looks decent. If you get on a really good mount, I could see this doing well. But you have to get on a really good mount. A really good mount. The Icebound Frostbrood Vanquisher. I think that's actually, is it Icebound or Blood? Yeah, it's Icebound. So, here's what I think. I think that you're a Death Knight. And I think that you can't stop reminding us that you're a Death Knight. That's what it is. I think this is boring. Day and night. 
the knight is literally in your name. <sighs> it's daylight savings today. So I'm going to save you a spot in the top five. And we're going to give it to somebody else. Inquisitor Yen. Well, I already looked at you. Yeah, I already looked at you, dude. What the fuck, dude? All right. Gentlemen, get on your mounts. I will be raiding you all in just a minute. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down, boys. Calm down. Calm down. Everybody go ahead and get on your mounts. Let's go ahead and raid everybody. Horde was way better. Yeah, the Horde set was way better. Imagine Swift Gloomhoof. I don't need I don't need to imagine it, Dreamer. I actually have it. Or part Pank Red, I already have it. Tell me what you guys like, tell me what you don't like. Okay. Alright. So I'm sorry for my bad mog. You don't have to apologize for having a bad transmog, okay? Alright. Gentlemen, you've all come in here, and you've done a relatively good job. Some sets are shitty, some sets are not. But at the end of the day, you've come in here and you've done a pretty good job. And I want to say that I thank you all for coming in and being such good contestants. There's been relatively little, uh, spurgery, and because of that I am impressed. Now gentlemen, it's time for us to pick our top five. Fifth place is a set that I never thought that I would give fifth place to. Whenever I saw it in first place, it, sorry, the first time, I thought to myself, you know what? It sucks dick. But then you know what? Whenever he got on his mount, it was so well done. It was so clean. It was so nice. I think Pobby deserves fifth place. Like, I actually think this is really good. I'm going to put my biases, I'm going to put my racism aside, and I'm going to do what's right. I am going to give Pobby fifth place because I think that you deserve it. I think this is a really, really nice looking set, and I think that you deserve some recognition for it. Pobby, congratulations. You did a great job, and I'm proud of you. Fourth place. Poppy, what country are you from? I forgot. Poppy, what country are you from? Norway. All right. Good. Shout out to lads on Ravencrest Alliance. We're a Norwegian guild recruiting something. Not sure what, but they told me to shout them out. There we go. Fourth place. Fourth place is going to go to somebody who I actually really think deserves it. I like this set a lot. It's a basic set, but I think that it's still really well done. Fourth place is going to go to Lode Wickets, the Argent Champion. This is an incredibly well done Paladin Transmog. Not only does it remind me of the original Tyrion Forge Ring and Vanilla WoW, but it also reminds me of the Argent Crusade in a positive way. This is an incredibly good job. There's nothing wrong with this set. I think that it's incredibly clean, and it deserves some genuine recognition. I love this. Load Wickus, good job. I'm proud of you. And you are getting third place. Fourth place. Good job. Proud of you. Good work. Now. Country? Load Wickus, what country are you from? I always forget about this. I don't know why I'm forgetting about this, but I am. Load Wickus, what country do you hail from? Bulgaria! Thank you. All right. Baldgaria? Y'all are so stupid. This is embarrassing. Third place. Third place. I saw it. I loved it. I think he deserves it. Third place is going to go to Azarus. I think this is fucking amazing. I, I, I love it. This is, a, this is an amazing, badass set. Everything about it is super clean. And honestly, I think that second and, and third place are about the same, by the way. Second and third place are about the same. I love it. 
everything about this works the mount works as well i generally just think this is a really really nice looking set and i like it a lot good fucking work azarus i'm proud of you you're a great player and a good person let's go to the next one i like this a lot good let me go ahead and give him a little mark here actually i can't give him that one come to diamond Azarus, what country are you from? What country are you from, Azarus? Norway again. All right. Hey, there it is. Norway again. Second place. Second place is going to go. I think you guys know who it's going to go to. Second player place is going to go to Prideful Gladiator of this. I love this. This is just a straight up fucking badass set. This is just a, it's just a straight up fucking badass set, man. This is really, really well done, man. I love it. Abyss, what country are you from? What country are you from, Abyss? Sweden. All right. All right, let's see how it is. Now, first place. Some people might disagree with this, and I would call those people wrong. First place is going to go the Dimetus champion of the Frozen Waste. <clears throat> he absolutely deserves this. This is an incredibly clean and well done set in a way that's unique that we've never seen before. I love this. The fact that he was able to combine the uh, the colorations on his head with his mount as well, I think that he deserves first place for that. It's incredibly unique, it's very well designed, and I think that he deserves first place for how well designed and how good this set is and how well its mount matches with the set. I like it a lot. Good fucking job, Diamantus. Great fucking job. You are first place. Diamantus, what country do you come from? Greece. Fuck yeah, man. An actual Greek god X. Let's have a round of applause for these people here. You guys have done an amazing job. Obviously, I, I do think that last week's was a little bit better. But this week's was really good, too. There are some really great sets, and I'm very proud of you guys. I will go outside real quick because I know a lot of people usually have a, have like a little group outside that they want me to look at. I'm going to do that very, very quickly, gentlemen. Great fucking job. Great transmogs today. I think you guys did an amazing fucking job. You only said four people. Shut up. I didn't. Okay, let's go down out of here. Yeah, some of these, uh, some of these actually do look pretty good. I like this one here, the Reinhardt transmog. This is pretty badass. Yeah, that one's good. A few more of these are actually pretty good too. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, wow. Damn. That one looks good. There's only war. Look at that, that's badass too. That's like a 90s comic book villain. I like it. Or like a fucking, a cartoon villain. That's fucking weird. Oh, that's good too. Damn. Yeah, these are actually really well done. Wow. The first one's on Reddit? Yeah, I can see that. These are actually really well done. Lorimus as well. What the hell is this? Damn. Yeah, some of these actually, some of these sets are really, really good. So much better. Yeah, I like the, uh, I like the Chaos Space Marine set right here. This is fucking awesome, man. Uh, it's actually really, really cool about Lilith the Priest. It was really hard for me not to give it a placing, and if I was going to give it a placing, it would have been third, or sorry, sixth place. 100%. I like it a lot. Yeah, I, I like this one a lot, too. Like, overall, I really, really enjoy this one a lot. A lot of these are great. You guys have actually put a lot of work into this, and have actually done a great job. I'm very impressed by these sets. Excellent job. These are really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and just look through all of these real quick. Good. 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 Gentlemen. 
gentlemen. We have had an incredibly great transmog competition today. We have had a great stream. And anyways, guys, it's time for me to call it a day. Thank you guys, everybody, for coming out and being part of this. I really appreciate everybody watching today. We had an amazing time, and I appreciate everybody watching. So until next time, boys. Peace.